the Penguin Café Orchestra was a collective of performing musicians founded by classically trained English guitarist, composer and arranger Simon Jeffs. He and cellist co-founder Helen Liebman were core members throughout the group's life. As the group grew and developed, a number of other musicians joined it, many of whom appear on the PCO6 studio and two live albums. The PCO toured extensively during the 1980s and 1990s, and two albums, when in Rome. An concert program captured the sound of the live ensemble. The Penguin sound is not easily categorized, but has elements of exuberant folk music and a minimalist aesthetic occasionally reminiscent of composers such as Philip Glass. The Penguin Cafe Orchestra recorded and performed for 24 years until Jeffs died of an inoperable brain tumor in 1997. Several remaining members of the original group reunited for three concerts in 2007. Since then, five original members have continued to play concerts of PCO's music, initially as the Anditas and more recently under the name The Orchestra That Fell to Earth. In 2009 Simon Jeff's son Arthur founded a distinct successor band called Simply Penguin Café. Although it includes no original PCO members, it features many PCO pieces in its live repertoire, and records and performs new music written by the younger Jeffs. History, after becoming disillusioned with the rigid structures of classical music and the limitations of rock, in which he also dabbled, Simon Jeffs became interested in the relative freedom in ethnic music and decided to imbue his work with the same sense of immediacy and spirit. Describing how the idea of the Penguin Café Orchestra came to him, Jeff said, the group's debut album, Music from the Penguin Café, a collection of pieces recorded in 1974 a Euro 76, was released in 1976 on Brian Eno's Experimental Obscure Records label, an offshoot of the E.G. label. It was followed in 1981 by Penguin Café Orchestra, after which the band settled into a more regular release schedule. The band played its first major concert on October 10, 1976, supporting Kraftwerk at the Round House. They went on to tour the world and play at a variety of music festivals as well as residences on the South Bank in London. From 1976 to Euro 1996 they played in the US, Canada, Australia, Japan, and throughout Europe and the UK. In March, 1987 they were the subject of an episode of the ITV art series The South Bank Show, on which they performed Air, Beanfields, Dirt, and Giles Farnaby's Dream. Evolution, Simon Jeffs experimented with various configurations live and in the studio, including an occasional dance orchestra and a quintet of strings, oboe, trombone and himself on piano. On the studio albums, he sometimes played several instruments himself, and brought in other musicians according to the needs of each piece. There were a number of incarnations of the live band. Original members Gavin Wright and Steve Nye left in 1984 and 1988 respectively. Bob Loveday replaced Gavin Wright on violin. Gradually a regular lineup evolved around Simon Jeffs and Helen Liebman, Neil Rennie, who joined in 1975 on Hercule. Jeffrey Richardson, who had joined in 1976 and co-wrote three pieces on broadcasting from home, played viola, quattro, guitar, clarinet, mandolin and Herculeal. Julio Segovia answered an advert in The Melody Maker and joined in 1978 on percussion. Paul Street joined in 1984 playing guitar, quattro and Herculeal, leaving in 1988. Jennifer Maidman joined in 1984 on percussion, Bass, Herculeal and Quattro. Steve Fletcher replaced Steve Nye in 1988 on piano and keyboards and Annie Whitehead, who had also appeared on Broadcasting from Home, joined the live band in 1988 on trombone. Finally, Peter McGowan took over from Bob Loveday on violin and Barbara Bolt joined on oboe. Doug Beveridge also became a regular fixture at the live mixing desk. The album concert program is the definitive recording of this lineup, and includes many of the group's best known pieces. Subsequent lineups Penguin Cafe and the orchestra that fell to earth, The Anteaters. After Simon Jeff's death, members of the orchestra continued to meet occasionally to play together, but there were no new recordings or public appearances for over ten years. In 2007, the band briefly reformed, 
with the lineup as featured on Concert Program, with Jennifer Maidman now handling Simon's guitar parts. The original members were joined on stage by Simon Jeffs's son Arthur on percussion and additional keyboards, and played three sold-out shows at the Union Chapel in London. After those concerts, Arthur Jeffs wanted to form a new group without any of the original PCO members. He called it Music from the Penguin Café, later shortened to simply Penguin Café. This all-new ensemble, sometimes inaccurately billed as the Penguin Café Orchestra, played at a number of festivals in 2009, combining Penguin Café numbers with new pieces. In 2010 they appeared at the BBC Proms. With the Penguin Café name now being used by Arthur, the original Penguin Café Orchestra members who wanted to continue playing their music needed an alternative title. Four of them, multi-instrumentalists Jeffrey Richardson and Jennifer Maidman, trombonist Annie Whitehead and pianist Steve Fletcher have since played some festivals under the name The Ant Eaters. They have been joined by percussionist Liam Janocki. Well known as a member of Steel I Span, Liam had also played Live with the Penguins in Italy in the 1980s. The name Andith has come from an incident on the 1983 PCO tour of Japan when Simon Jeffs discovered there was a craze for penguins in the country. Simon joked that, if the fashion changed, the orchestra would have to change its name to the Andita Cafe Orchestra. In October 2011 the same lineup also appeared at the Canterbury Festival in Kent, UK, performing two hours of original PCO music under another name the orchestra that fell to earth and they have subsequently continued to perform under that name. Famous pieces, the Penguin Café Orchestra's most famous piece may be Telephone and Rubber Band, which is based around a tape loop of a UK telephone ringing tone intersected with an engaged tone, accompanied by the twanging of a rubber band. The piece is featured on the soundtracks of Nadia Tass's film comedy Malcolm and Oliver Stone's film Talk Radio, and in a long-running advertising campaign for the telecoms company 121. The 1996 single In the Meantime by New York City-based English rockers Spaceyhog featured a tweaked and fine-tuned sample of Telephone and Rubber Band. It was also the trademark song of the Argentinian show dedicated to artistic animation Siloyen Su Tinta. The tape loop was recorded when Jeffs was making a phone call, and discovered that he was hearing a combination of a ringtone and an engaged signal at the same time, due to a fault in the system. He recorded it on an answering machine. Another famous tune featured in Malcolm is music for a found harmonium, which Jeffs wrote on a harmonium that he had found dumped in a back street in Kyoto, where he was staying in the summer of 1982 after the ensemble's first tour of Japan. He wrote that after installing the found harmonium in a friend's house in one of the most beautiful parts at the edge of the city, he frequently visited this instrument during the next few months, and I remember the time fondly as one during which I was under a form of enchantment with the place and the time. Music for a found harmonium was used over the end credits of the 1988 John Hughes movie She's Having a Baby where many film actors and celebrities of the time invent their favorite name for an imagined child, although it was not placed on the soundtrack accompanying the movie. The piece gained exposure when it was released on the first Cafar copyright Delmar volume in 1994. Its rhythm tempo and simple structure made it very suitable for adaptation into a reel, and it was subsequently recorded by many Irish traditional musicians, including Patrick Street, De Danan, Kevin Burke and Sharon Shannon. An Irish traditional version was used on the soundtrack of the film Hear My Song, made in Ireland in the early 1990s. In 2004, Patrick Street's cover of music for a found harmonium was featured in the film Napoleon Dynamite and the following year in the film It's All Gone Pete Tong. The Scottish folk rock band Rock Salt and Nails, from Shetland, also recorded a version for their debut album Waves in 1993. Simon Jeffs composed music for the ballet Still Life at the Penguin Café, largely based on earlier compositions for the Penguin Café Orchestra. The ballet was first performed by the Royal Ballet in 1988 and released as an album under Jeff's name. Another of the group's well-known pieces is Perpetuum Mobile from their 1987 album Signs of Life. It has been used as theme music for several films, television and radio programs, including the Australian stop-motion animated film Mary and Max as the main theme. 
the song is unusual in that it was written with a 15-8 time signature. The melody appears to end and repeat one beat ahead of when it should, giving the piece the feel of a perpetual motion device. Uses by others. Equals covers and sampling equals, music for a found harmonium was covered by the Galician band Matt Congrio in 1993, also by the California Guitar Trio on their Echoes album, and by Irish accordion player Sharon Shannon on her first album. The tune was also covered by the Pan-Celtic Violin Ensemble Celtic Fiddle Festival in 1993, at the time consisting of former Silly Wizard fiddler Johnny Cunningham, Bothy Band fiddler Kevin Burke, and Cornog fiddler Christian Lee Matter, on their self-titled debut album. A section of music for a found harmonium was used by record producer Steve Mack for his dance track Paddy's Revenge. Music for a Found Harmonium was the basis for a mix on the Orb's 2001 remix compilation Auntie Aubrey's Excursions Beyond the Call of Duty, The Orb Remix Project, Volume 2. The title was given as Music for a Found Harmonium. The song Telephone and Rubber Band was sampled by Spacehog in their 1995 hit In the Meantime, from the album Resident Alien. Avisa samples a section of Perpetuum Mobile in his dance track Fade Into Darkness. The Leona Lewis Avisur collaboration Collide uses the same piano hook. A portion of Perpetuum Mobile is sampled on the track Missed Calls by rapper Mac Miller. Music for a Found Harmonium was used as part of a tune set by Roving Crows on their Deliberate Distractions album. The main theme of Music for a Found Harmonium was used by L16 on his 1997 track Stepping Out, the egg sample Rosé's Elise on their 1998 track Willow. Equals film equals, Penguin Cafe Orchestra music featured on the 1986 Australian cult film Malcolm, written by David Parker and directed by Nadia Tass. The film won the 1986 Australian Film Institute Award for Best Film. Telephone and Rubber Band was used during the final scene of the Oliver Stone's film Talk Radio, Penguin Cafe Orchestra music featured on the Petra Katharina Wagner film Oscar and Lenny. The music was also issued on a separate CD. Nothing Really Blue was used during the final scene of the German film The Princess and the Warrior. Perpetuum Mobile was used the main theme for the documentary The Union, the business behind Getting High, the animated Australian film Mary and Max, the Swedish movie Slim Susie and the documentary Project Nim. Music for a Found Harmonium is featured in Michael Moore's documentary film Capitalism, A Love Story as he raps several Wall Street banks and the New York Stock Exchange in crime scene tape. In 2004's It's All Gone Pete Tong. For the ending montage in Napoleon Dynamite, but not included on the motion picture soundtrack. And in 2011's Goodbye First Love. Equals Radio Podcasts Equals, This American Life, a popular show on public radio in the United States has often used the band's Perpetuum Mobile to accompany its stories, and news programs on national public radio have at times used the ringtone from telephone and rubber band as bumper music between pieces. The Economist magazine has used Perpetuum Mobile in its weekly podcasts. The Australian ABC Radio National Weekly Broadcast of the Music Show uses Perpetuum Mobile as its theme music. Scherzo and Trio is the theme music for BBC Radio 4's Round Britain Quiz. Pythagoras's Trousers was the theme music for CBC Radio's Basic Black. Equals Television Equals, music for a found harmonium was used in the 2007 a Euro 13 documentary Belga Sport on canvas about the biggest impacts in sports in Belgium including the 1982 Gilles Villeneuve crash at Zolder. Perpetual Mobile was used in the Big Bang Machine a 2008 BBC documentary about CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Perpetuum Mobile was used in the 1997 award-winning BBC Horizon documentary for Matt's Last Theorem directed by Simon Singh. The documentary relates Andrew Wiles's successful attempt to prove for Matt's Last Theorem. Perpetuum Mobile was used in Episode 8 of New York, a documentary film, a 2003 PBS documentary about the World Trade Center. Perpetuum Mobile was also used in the pilot episode of the American television show Three Pounds starring Stanley Tucci, and in an episode about the American educator Albert Cullum and the ITVS PBS series Independent Lens. 
telephone and a rubber band was the theme music for the Argentine show Saloy en su tinta. Perpetual Mobile was also used in the fifth season finale of the UK version of The Apprentice. Pythagoras Trousers was used as the theme for the Spanish TV show Dueo de Nia Plus or Minus O's. Both Perpetual Mobile and music for A Found Harmonium appeared in the first episode of a 2012 BBC documentary about Art Nouveau called Sex and Sensibility. Air was used as the opening music for the Afro Shackleton episode of the BBC documentary series Perpetual Motion. Equals advertising equals, the music of the Penguin Cafe Orchestra has been used in advertisements for Euro Tunnel, The Independent, Hewlett Packard, MFI, NOR, 121, Origin Energy, Ford and Braidsco. Personnel Simon Jeffs a Euro acoustic guitar, electric guitar, piano, quattro. Hercules, bass, voice, omnichord, dulcitone, penny whistle, pitch pipes, harmonium, shakers, drums, ring modulator, rubber band, electronic organ, milk bottles, triangle, violin, drum, lindrum computer, soloban, spinet, prophet V, fretless guitar, bluthner and bosendorf for pianos, zebra drum, tape, panica, mandolin, electric aeolian harp. Helen Liebman a Euro cello, Steve Nye a Euro electric piano, Quattro, Bluthner piano, Wurlitzer piano, Harmonium, Gavin Wright a Euro violin, Jeffrey Richardson a Euro viola, Slide guitar, Bass, Bongos, Metal frame, Erkeliel, Mandolin, Electric guitar, Penny whistle, Clarinet, Ian Maidman a Euro percussion, Bass guitar, Erkeliel, Quattro, Electric guitar, Zebra drum, Emily Young a Euro vocals, Mike Giles a Euro drums, Dave DeFries a Euro trumpet, Flugelin, Annie Whitehead a Euro trombone, Nigel Kennedy a Euro violin, Nana Vasconcelos a Euro clay pot, Twigs, Catherine Tekel a Euro Northumbrian small pipes, Chris Lawrence a Euro bass, Wilfred Gibson a Euro violin, Roger Chase a Euro viola, Brico a Euro drums, Marcus Beale a Euro violin, Kuma Harada a Euro bass, Barbara Bolt a Euro oboe, Stephen Fletcher a Euro piano, Peter McGowan a Euro violin, Giles Lehman a Euro woodwinds, Bob Loveday a Euro violin, Neil Rennie a Euro Urkeliel, Julio Segovia a Euro percussion, Jill Streeter a Euro oboe, Peter Veitch a Euro accordion, Fami a Euro drums, Trevor Moraes a Euro drums, Danny Cummings a Euro percussion, Paul Street a Euro guitar. Equals Arthur Jeff's Penguin Cafe equals, in 2009 a new band called Penguin Cafe was formed by Arthur Jeffs, son of Simon and Emily Young, and appeared at the BBC Proms on September 8, 2010. The lineup included Darren Barry, Cass Brown, Tom Chichester Clark, Neil Codling, Vincent Green, Oli Langford, Des Murphy, Pete Radcliffe, Andrew Waterworth, Rebecca Waterworth and Catherine Tickell. Discography Equals studio albums equals, music from the Penguin Cafe Obscure 7, later EEGCD 27, Penguin Cafe Orchestra EEGCD 11, broadcasting from home EEGCD 38, Signs of Life EEGCD 50, UK No. 49 Union Cafe ZOPFD 001, A Matter of Life. The Red Book. Equals extended play equals, the Penguin Cafe Orchestra mini album EGMLP2 a Euro 6 song mini LP consisting of two previously released tracks, two live tracks, and two new compositions. Equals live albums equals, when in Rome. EEGCD 56, concert program ZOPFD 002. Equals collections equals, preludes, airs and yodels, a brief history CDV 2954, History Virgin Records LCO 3098, the second Penguin Cafe Orchestra sampler. Equals Simon Jeff's albums equals, Still Life at the Penguin Cafe Decca 425-218-2, Piano Music ZOPFD 003 Euro Solo Pieces, collected after Jeff's death. Equals Related Album equals, Arcane, credited to assorted artists. Arcane consists of recordings by diverse musicians brought together in August 1992 at the Real World Studios in Wiltshire for a week of spontaneous collaborations and performances.
No one musician appears on every track, but Jeffs is one of the more constant presences on this album. Amongst the many other collaborators are Billy Cobham, Andy Shepard, Jane Seberry, Ia Bagada, Nigel Kennedy, and Nana Vasconcelos. Equals soundtracks equals Night Shift, Malcolm, She's Having a Baby Trailer, Oscar on Lenny, Chuck and Buck, Slim Susie, The Good Girl, The Princess and the Warrior official soundtrack, Napoleon Dynamite official soundtrack, It's All Gone Pete Tong official soundtrack, Hewlett Packard. Advert, Three Pounds Lost for Words, Year of the Dog, All the Little Animals Music Written by Simon Jeffs, Performed and Recorded by PCO Members Jeffrey Richardson, Jennifer Maidman and Steve Fletcher, Capitalism, A Love Story, Mary and Max, Origin Energy Sustainability Drive Advert. See also, Still Life at the Penguin Cafe, a ballet composed by Simon Jeffs and choreographed by David Bintley. References External links, official site, unofficial site, official site of the orchestra that fell to earth musicians of the original PCO, Penguin Cafe Orchestra at All Music, Penguin Cafe Orchestra discography at Music Brian's.